guys, Jim Doan here with a demonstration on how you can create an ad for the yearbook. We don't have an interface like we did last year. So to create your, uh, you know, a dedication to your son or daughter, if you don't have Photoshop or some other tool uh, on your computer, go to photop.com. When you first log in, it'll probably look something like this. Just click on that X in the top right corner and you'll have the uh, uh, the screen available for your use. It actually ends up looking like this with a welcome screen. You can just X out of there and start with a blank slate. First, before you begin your ad, put all your favorite photos into a, a convenient location where you can easily access them. And also, I went on to, uh, went on to Google and I found a uh, background to plug in there, which kind of makes it nice and interesting. So we'll start with creating the ad file new. Come over here and uh, we'll do a half page ad. We'll call this yearbook ad donuts. We'll make it <clears throat> 1700 by 1100. That is a half page ad and hit create. So there's my canvas. Now I want to open up the pictures of my son here. So I'll go to File, Open, and I'll go to my desktop and my yearbook ad art, and here are the pictures. So I'll start with the background, actually. I'm going to pick my Stormy Ocean background, and then I'm going to open up my pictures that I want to cut and paste in there. Here's uh, a picture of him when he was just a little boy. <laughs> and we'll open up another one when he's uh, getting ready to graduate. And another uh, special blackmail photo that I've been saving for some time now. <coughs> Excuse me. That I may or may not use. So there's our canvas. And you can see these tabs here and you can click between them. Starting with the background, I'm just going to select this marquee select. Go in here, this rectangle, and highlight the portion that I want to copy. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, go back to uh, my ad and go Edit, Paste, and there it is. In order to manipulate the size of this to, to select and move it, I'm going to click on the Move tool, and I'm going to click on Choose the Object under the cursor so I can click on whatever object I want, and click on the Transformation Controls. Now I'm going to grab the corner up here, just kind of move this how I want it to appear. And once I've got that manipulated just right, I'm going to click on the uh, commit button. Uh, check mark up there. Notice that if you grab the transformation, you can actually squish it and uh, squash it. But if you want to maintain the aspect ratio, hold down the shift key and you'll see uh, that it'll, it'll maintain the aspect. That way you won't get a squishy head or something like that. Click the checkbox. If you don't, then just click the X and it'll take you back where you were. Now that I got my background image in, I want to add that first picture of my son there when he was just a little dude. <laughs> so going back to my marquee, rectangle select, go in there and make sure you capture the entire part you want to use in your image. Go up to edit, copy, click on your ad, edit, paste. And there he is. Click on the Move tool and put the little dude right where you want him. Let's say we want him right about there. There we go. Right in front of this big cloud here. Actually, that cloud looks kind of like a, like a great white shark with teeth. So we'll commit to that change by clicking the checkbox. And then we'll go add another photograph of him this one right here. But instead of using the rectangle select, I'm going to use the ellipse select. And I want to feather this one with maybe nine pixels. No, I want to stay here. Nine pixels. So I'll go here and I'll select this just like this. Edit, copy, go back to my ad, edit, paste. Look at this. See, it says Control V. My computer, I'm using a Mac. It won't let me do that. I actually have to go up here and, and click the paste button. Go back to the move tool, click it, 
and uh, hold down the shift key to maintain the aspect ratio and just kind of put that photograph where you want it. And maybe you can even twist it a little bit by moving just outside that transformation um, tool. Then commit to the change and there you go. Now this big picture here is kind of hiding my little dude. So I'm going to go over here to layers and I'm going to grab my little dude and I'm going to move him above my big dude. And there he is. And then I also want to maybe give him a little drop shadow. So come over here and just double click on his layer bar. Come to drop shadow. These layer styles are really cool. And you'll see that uh, it put a little drop shadow behind him. And I'll say the light's coming from the right. There you go. So you see how there's kind of a shadow on there now. And hit OK. I can also go to this guy here double click it and uh, maybe see if see what this button will do bevel and emboss I haven't used this yet so I'm not sure exactly oh you know it's not gonna it's not gonna work well because I put a uh, a uh, what do you call it oh yeah that looks good oh now it's looking like it's like the moon up there or something and then maybe I'll put the light at about the same angle. Oh, that looks fine. Whoops. No, it doesn't. There we go. <clears throat> so maybe I'll I'll do something like that on the. Oh, it's kind of locking up. It's a lot of data to manipulate. So maybe that's why it's taking a little while. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that. Get me started, I could go all day. But we're just being quick here, so let's go ahead and add some text now. We'll click on this text tool, and we'll draw a box, and we'll say, <clears throat> excuse me, congratulations, Johnny. And I can barely read that, so I'm going to highlight it, go up to the top here, where it says size, and make that text fit just like I want. And then I want to change that font too. So I'm going to click on this and see if I can find a nice font to use there. I don't think they have like a Star Wars themed font, but maybe we'll find something close. How about this one, Spin Cycle? Congratulations, Johnny. And while I've got the box open, I'm going to manipulate a little bit and then commit. There it is. So this text layer is behind that image. Maybe I want to whoops, grab it and move it to the top. And you see how I just moved it to the top? And then what I can do is uh, click on, double click on the name. Whoops, double click that name and put, change it to congrats. Hit enter and that'll be easier to recognize in the future. Now say, say I want to add some, maybe an outer glow to that. Outer glow. Yeah, maybe make it just a, a little bit bigger. Something like that, maybe. It's whatever you want it to be in your own little world here. So there's congratulations, Johnny. Add a little more text down here. Let's tell him how proud we are of him. We'll put that right here and we'll say, <clears throat> uh, my son, and I cannot read that, so I'm going to highlight what I got there, make that bigger so I can at least read it, and then select a color, maybe something that's a little closer to my lightsaber. My son, there we go. Whoops. I'm going to just hit delete until I get, I'm going to go here and start typing again. See what I did there? Okay. Uh, and, and give him your message. Uh, Dominus Vobiscum. Uh, the force is strong within you. Train yourself to let go of what you fear losing most. 
and when storm comes calm you shall be uh proud of you we are love you much we do ma and pa okay there's my message to my boy <clears throat> whatever you want it to be i'm going to click on my message and maybe i want to uh give that an outer glow but i want it to be normal and maybe like a dark green color dark almost black and then you see i can maybe make that the size of that outer glow the opacity to darken it up a little bit whoops and that'll make it kind of pop off the page a little more and just you know just mess around with it have fun do whatever you want it's your own little world <laughs> you ever watch bob ross actually i don't like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna come back in here and select the whole thing there we go and double click go to my outer glow and uh, try that so that looks okay but do whatever you want to do mess around with it if you don't like your layer what you put on there uh, just select this and, and turn that outer glow off or just double click it from there to manipulate it say the range is needs say the size needs to be a little smaller yeah maybe right there maybe it does need a drop shadow too like like that and then click on drop shadow and maybe lessen the distance and the size maybe right there and a little bit closer How's that? But you get the point. You can uh, spend all day on this, and I know neither of us have that. So the last thing I'm going to do, a couple more things. I'm just going to select all this with my, there we go, my selector tool. Leave that like that. Set that right there. And there you have it. You can save this as a PSD. Oh, we have one more picture. That's right. Let's go here and grab this ellipse here. Ellipse? What do you call it? Ellipse. And we'll feather this out maybe 14 pixels and we'll select his head there like this. Edit, copy, go back to the add, edit, paste. And uh, grab my little tool here. Move tool. And there's his face there. I told him one day I would blackmail him with this photo. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take his head and kind of shrink it down and stick it in that shark's mouth right there. Like he's getting eaten by the shark. Arr! And then I'm going to commit to the change. And then come over here to, to his layer. Double click. And I'm going to just fade that off into the into the shark's mouth like that. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Okay. And there you go. Oh, one other thing I want to do is put that behind the text. I want the text to be on top of that. And so there's your ad. So you see in, uh, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, actually probably a little longer than that because you're going to have fun playing with all of these functions. You can do a really cool ad for your kidney yearbook. Finally, last but not least, save as PSD. That will download the file there. Email me that file. And if it needs a little adjustment, I can do that. You can also, for your own pleasure, uh, save it for the web. And I like to save things as uh, JPEGs on 
the highest uh, resolution, high quality. And you can post that to your Facebook or whatever. If I double click on this, it should open preview. And, and uh, there you go. That's how your ad will appear in the yearbook. So make sure you get on there. Do a nice ad for your kid. Have some fun with it. <laughs> a shark eating him is cracking me up. And call Patty or email Patty at the school, and she'll give you uh, my email address to email your ad. We still have a little bit of time. Today is uh, today is Friday, March thirty first. Uh, we, we've got about five or six days, I think. So get those ads in, get them over to me as soon as you can. I'll plug them in. We've still got space available. Support the school, support your kids, show them how much you love them, give them a full page ad and have fun with it. Or at least a half page ad. And if you're if you're broke, then uh, you know, we'll we'll settle for an eighth and you can make me payments and <laughs> we'll make it work. Just get it in. And if you need help, let me know. Again, contact Patty for my email address. Have fun with it. And uh, God bless you. Bye-bye now.